Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In this video, I'll give you a brief introduction to eDrawMax. Let's begin with some basic information about eDrawMax. eDrawMax is a powerful and advanced all-in-one diagramming tool. Using this diagramming tool, you can draw diagrams under different diagram categories. eDrawMax is available on different platforms such as Windows, Mac, and Linux. And there's an online version as well. eDrawMax is also available in multiple languages like English, French, German, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and Russian. These are the basic system requirements required to run the eDrawMax application. Now let's look at what eDrawMax is capable of. eDrawMax has a wide variety of diagram types to serve all your needs. It provides a workspace for creating over 280 types of diagrams to meet all your needs for running a business or office, strategic analysis, human resources, engineering management, science education, and more. As you can see, eDrawMax covers a broad spectrum of diagram categories, from simple flowcharts to professional, detailed electrical circuits. Under each diagram category, there are different diagram types, each diagram type has many built-in templates that you can use to create diagrams quickly and easily. Also, you can find tutorials on how to create diagrams in the description below. Now you're looking at a new and innovative feature called the Template Gallery or Community Feature, where you can find templates published by other users and can publish your own diagrams as well. You can search templates based on roles and diagram types. Now let's see how easy it is to use eDrawMax. First, I'll show you symbols and libraries. eDrawMax has around 26,000 vector symbols. As you can see, the flowchart diagram type opens flowchart-specific symbols under the library. Similarly, different diagram types open with different diagram-specific symbols. By clicking on the predefined library icon, you can find more symbol libraries based on your needs. You can also customize your own library by adding symbols from the predefined library and also by importing symbols from different file formats as shown. Now let's look at the top ribbon bar. On the Home tab, you have the option to adjust font style and font size. Using this Quick Shape option tool, you can draw basic shapes very quickly. Here, you can find different connector styles for your diagramming needs. Now let's explore the Insert tab. The blank page icon inserts a blank page in the current drawing sheet. You have the option to insert a table or a picture, and this chart option allows you to insert charts of your choice. Clicking on the Timeline icon inserts horizontal timelines. Here you have an option to insert a container for your images. Here you'll find formula-related symbols. You can insert vector text using this option. You can also insert font symbols into the document. This option allows you to insert QR codes. Here you can insert a link into shapes for quick access. This option inserts attachments into shape. Notes can be inserted into a shape using this option. And here you can insert a comment into the shape. Now let's navigate to Page Layout to see what we've got there. Page Size allows you to choose different page sizes of your choice. You can also change the orientation of the page using this option. The Fit to Drawing option fits the page size to the drawing. Now let's move on to the View tab. Here you have the option to start the slideshow from the beginning or the current page. Hide or unhide the ruler and hide or unhide grid lines here. Let's open a presentation file to explore more about Page Preview. Clicking on Page Preview shows or hides the Page Preview panel. eDrawMax has several file recovery options as well. Here you'll find the Whole Page option. Now let's move on to the Symbols tab. Here you have many tools to create symbols of your choice. You can find tutorials for making symbols on our YouTube channel. Now let's explore the Help tab. You can activate eDrawMax here, 
and you can find program information, the version number, and copyright from this section. Now let's explore what's on the right pane in eDraw Max. Here you'll find the options to edit properties of a shape's style. You can apply built-in themes from this section. You can change the theme color here. You have the option to change the connector theme as well. You can modify the text theme also. This is for editing picture properties. You can find layers option here. This is for data properties. You can insert charts here also. You can find different options to edit charts in this section. You can find options to edit table properties here. Here you can find tools to edit the properties of a floor plan, Gantt chart, organization chart, mind map, or presentation. Now let's look at the bottom ribbon pane. At the bottom you can find pages. Click the plus icon to add pages. This is a built-in color palette to choose colors for your shapes quickly. And here you can adjust the zoom level of the page. Now let's look at how easy it is to draw diagrams using eDraw Max. You can draw the diagram just by dragging and dropping the shape from the library. Clicking on the arrow pops up the quick access to the different shapes. And just by clicking on the shape, links both shapes as shown. You can also draw shapes using this quick shape option. You can add text just by double clicking over the shape. So cool, right? You can find different connector styles to choose from based on your requirements. Let's edit the properties of this shape. On the right pane, you'll find fill properties. Here you can modify color, shade, and transparency. You can also edit the line properties here, choosing from the options available. You can set the default settings for fonts, connectors, theme colors, and page settings here. eDraw Max has a special feature called Smart Shapes. Let's learn how beneficial it is. You can find Smart Shapes from the predefined libraries. Once the Smart Shape is dragged onto the page, an icon on the right pane will be activated. Using this option, you can customize the Smart Shape based on your diagram needs as shown. This feature is very powerful, isn't it? Now let's look at some shape arrangement features. I've opened a home plan to demonstrate these features. This group feature groups objects together. The Align feature aligns or distributes the selected objects. Now let's flip the door by using the Flip feature under the Rotate icon. You can rotate the dining table using the Rotate feature. Using the Size feature, you can change the width and height. And XY position. Under the File menu, you can find options to save. The Export and Send option allows you to export your file to different file formats. I'm exporting this home plan to PDF format now. 
Now let's explore how strong the eDraw Max After Sales support is. You can locate the User Guide under the Help tab. Clicking on the User Guide will take you through the salient features of this diagramming tool. Clicking on the Tutorial icon will take you to the link where you can find the tutorial videos. Clicking on this FAQ icon will take you through some of the frequently asked questions. To get more help, click on the Contact Us option. You can get responses via email for all your concerns. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max and diagramming videos.